in the jungle I can fly through the trees way up high I'm a one I'm a two I'm a two can so are you a two 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 can two 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 can Set his clock ahead? Actually, Pastor Dave, I forgot to. It's just I love getting up early all the time because it's fun. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> so, uh, Grumpy Grampy, uh, now that you're awake, is there anything you want to share with us? Yes. Be quiet. I'm going to okay. go back and take a nap. Write your congressman person and tell them that you want to get rid of daylight savings. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, anything else, Grumpy Grampy? Yeah, stay off my lawn. Good night. No, sleep night. All right, well, good luck. Hey, Dad, wait, you know, now that you're up, maybe we can sing some songs. 
Junior, nobody likes a morning person. Amen. I think I'm going back to bed also. Oh, Next week. All right. All right. Bye, Twinkle. Well, uh, uh, wow, everybody is so sleepy this morning. I'm glad that you guys didn't sleep in like our friends here. Uh, I did. But you know what? I heard that the fitness fanatic even slept in something about an all night jogathon. So uh, I don't know if we have anybody this morning to help us do any exercises. Uh, so that's okay. Oh, no. yeah. We are here. <laughs> I'm Hans. And I'm Franz. And we, we are, are here, here to pump you up. Yeah. We thought you guys might have been asleep. <laughs> Hoping. <laughs> don't worry. We are here and we are ready. Uh, what muscles are we going to be pumping up today, if I'm afraid to ask? We are, today we are going to be working our eyebrow muscles. Go on, show them an eyebrow flex. Uh, 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 look at these caterpillars. Eyebrow muscles? Are you sure about this? Oh yeah, you want to know with your little baby eyebrows. Do they need the bottle? Yeah, by eyebrows. Well, what are you gonna do with big eyebrow muscles? You know, you want the biggest strong, you know, then you can even lift things with them. Yeah, like school bus. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> lifting the school bus with his eyebrows. Ah, uh, how is that even possible? Not possible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, all okay. right, go ahead, get this over. Okay, right. everyone, let's stand up and let's flex our eyebrows. Okay, ready? Lift them up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, good, good, good. Now you can sit down. Uh, all right. Yeah. Wow, you okay there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go find somewhere. Let's go find a school bus for you to live with your eyebrows. Yeah, maybe I can do two this time. Yeah! Right. So I will be yeah. back next week. Can we say yeah. bye to Hans and Franz? Bye, Hans and Franz. Wow, they're really special. Okay. Well, uh, since we flexed our eyebrows with yet another amazing exercise session, I thought today, since everyone's so sleepy at Kitropolis, we are going to do one of our all-time classics a little deep and wide. All right? Show me deep. Ready? Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide, deep and wide. Alright, now, today, let's change the words to your favorite desserts. Okay? Favorite desserts. Let's see. I'm going to go back. Michael, what's your favorite dessert? Um, ice cream with a cherry on top. Oh, ice cream with yep. a cherry on top. How many of you guys like ice cream? Oh, me too, me too. Alright, so we're going to go ice cream. And why? You ready? Ice, ice cream and wine. Ice cream and wine. There's a fountain flowing. Ice cream and wine. Ice cream and wine. Ice cream and wine. There's a fountain flowing. Ice cream and wine. All right. Something else besides ice cream. Let's go over here to this side of the room. Let's see. Emma, what do you like? Milk. That's a dessert. Brownies! Oh, alright, ready? Ice cream and brownies, ice cream and brownies, there's a fountain flowing, ice cream and brownies. Ice cream and brownies, ice cream and brownies, there's a fountain flowing, ice cream and brownies. I need other dessert. Let's see. Oh, and oh, how about. Right here. Milky Way. Ooh, the candy bar. All right, ready? Oh. Ice cream and brownies. Ice cream and brownies. There's a Milky Way. Ice cream and brownies. Ice cream and brownies. Ice cream and brownies. 
there's a Milky Way floating ice cream and brownies. I need one more. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go with the girl over here. How about let's go, Nora? Lemon meringue pie. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Ice cream and brownies. Ice cream and brownies. There's a Milky Way to lemon meringue pie. Ice cream and brownies. Ice cream and brownies. Ice cream and brownies. There's a Milky Way to lemon meringue pie. Ice cream and brownies. All right. That one was pretty good. All right. Well, boys and girls. All right. Well, we can take a turn next time. All right. Now, I think there's a certain gorilla, and I'm really hoping. Do you guys think he's awake today? I don't know. All right. On the count of three, say good morning, go go. Ready? One, two, three. Good morning, go go. Oh, 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 go, go. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi, uh, Go, go, you sound like you're kind of sleepy. Does it sound like he's kind of sleepy? Yeah, he wants to sleep. Go, go, is sleepy. Go, go, wants to Uh, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, wake up. She's deep sleep. Hi, Mona. Hi, friends. Uh, yes, uh, uh, go go, he kind of fell asleep there. Oh, I'm sorry. Go go, yes, sleepy. All right. Well, oh. uh, go go. Uh, boys and girls, uh, let me wait, go go. Go go, go go, wake up. Wake up. Hi, friends. Hi, mama. Uh, yeah, uh, go go. Boys and girls, it seems like Gogo's pretty sleepy today. Yeah, it does seem like Gogo's sleepy. Well, can you guys help me? On the count of three, please say, wake up, Gogo. Ready? One, two, three. Help me one more time. Ready? Yeah. One, One, two, two three. three. Go! Boys and girls, I don't think he's gonna stay awake. What do you think? Yeah. No, I think it's time to put Go Go away. All right, can we say good night, Go Go? One, two, three. Good night, Go Go. Okay. All right. Sweet dreams. Well, boys and girls, sometimes, especially when we have to change the clocks ahead an hour, do you think people can be a little sleepy? Yeah, and sometimes is it hard to wake up? Well, this morning, we're going to talk about that. So right now, I'd like you guys to get with your groups and with your teachers, and let's talk about our questions on this. Your hand. If you ever had a hard time staying awake, any time. You ever had a hard time staying awake? All right. Good. All right. Put your hands down. And how many people you had a hard time staying awake this morning? Anybody this morning? A lot of our adults. Okay. All right. Now, number two. What helps people stay awake? There could be all kinds of ideas here. Uh, let's see, Nicholas, what helps people stay awake? Scaring them helps them stay awake. All right. Let's see, Caleb, what helps people stay awake? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. All right. Emma, what helps people stay awake? What helps them stay awake? Probably eating breakfast. That's a good one. Brent, how about you? Coffee. Coffee. Parent? Candy. Candy. All right. Strawberries. Strawberries. David? Okay, that could work. Yep. A pillow and a blanket help you stay awake? All right, easy. TV. 
A moose? All right. Now, how about number three? This one's the really hard question. You guys ready? Jesus wants our hearts awake for him. What does that mean we say Jesus wants our hearts awake? That's kind of hard. Caitlin, what do you think? Can we never stop loving him? That's good. Michael, what do you think, Michael? Um, never turn your back on him. We never turn our back on him, so we're okay. Good. What do you think, Michael? We always love him. Yeah, Emma? Okay. We're okay. Yeah, we're paying attention. Oh, I like that, Caleb. There's start print alien. Strawberries. Strawberries. <laughs> All right. That always works in there with Jesus. Isla, what do you think? How do we keep our hearts awake for Jesus? You pay attention. You love him. Good. Hudson, what do you think, buddy? You play. Yeah, we can play and think of Jesus. Absolutely. All right, one more. We get our energy out and we always love him. Good. Well, you guys got this. Well done. Well done. Thank you for helping us share about how to stay awake, but not just staying awake with our minds, but staying awake for Jesus. All right. Alright, let's see what Nate. Nate. Nate oh, he's awake. Nate's. Oh, it, it. Nate. 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 Daylight saving time stinks. Nate! 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 What? 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 Uh, don't you have some breaking news to share with us? Did I mention daylight saving time stinks? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> then we are good. Uh, uh, Nate? Nate! Nate! Bam! Where? What? Huh? What? Uh, what about Dr. Deceptive and Hambone? Oh, right. I'm sure they're doing something, but I'm tired. Ah. <laughs> uh, great. No! Oh. Yeah. Alright, Dr. Deceptive? <laughs> uh. Me, humble. Hello, Nate. Newsworthy. Do I smell pigs in a blanket? That's not funny. Continues. We'll have to see what Dr. Deceptive and Hambone do later. But right now, let's bring out our friend, Super Buddy, and see our super secret for today on the count of three. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Dave. Slappy and sassy is is super flatty here today. I think so. We're panting. We have to go and get something to hurt you with. Uh, 
Sassy? Slappy? Sassy! Slappy! What? Uh, slappy, sassy, wake up! What? Is it slappy time? Uh, no, yeah. it's time for you to get super platty. But before we do that, we need to. Uh, oh, brother! Slappy, sassy, wake up! Loud, see if we can wake him up. All right, ready? They're playing my gong. Help! It's me, Super Bloody. It's too noisy out here. I'm going back to bed. Oh, me too. Uh, well, uh, hello, Super Platty. Do you have the super secret? I sure do. Take a look at the screen for this week's super secret. Keep our hearts awake. Jesus is at work in our lives. Now remember, when I say super secret, you'll need to stand up and say today's super secret. Okay, we got it. Thank you, Super Platty. Super secret. Keep our hearts awake. Jesus is at work in our lives. Oh, that's a good job. Everybody may not go take a nap. Uh, no, that's not. Slatty? What? Slatty? All right, you can, you can just go now. All right. Uh, all right. Bye, Platty. All right. Uh, Slatty? 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 Well, uh, boys and girls, uh, we got our super secret, so I think uh, we are ready to go on to the next thing, oh, which oh, you... Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Where? Where? Where is your super secret? You never find it. Go. It's right here. <laughs> What's that you said? Oh, was it this it's like yeah, yeah, well. Push them off. Push them off. Uh, Doctor Deceptive? Okay. Tampone? Oh, Mommy, I don't want to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't I can't I think that's too weird. Uh, Sassy and Slappy are here. Slappy and Slappy! Hello, 
<laughs> Dr. D, Hambo, Sassy, Slappy. Uh, you know what? Forget it. Let's just let him sleep. <laughs> our Bible story, so let's bring out our good friend, Bernie the Bear. Come on up, Bernie! Awesome. 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 It's the Bible story with Bernie the Bear. Here's Bernie. <laughs> But Pastor Dave, uh, yes, Bernie. The best thing about today is I get to wake up. Hibernation's over. Woohoo! <laughs> right. Today I have some doggone good jokes about dogs for you. <laughs> hey, awesome. What do you call a dog that's been out in the cold too long? I don't know. It's a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, awesome! What kind of dog loves taking baths? Oh, a shampoo! <laughs> Don't you just love these? Yes. Uh, hey, awesome! What type of dog always laughs at my amazing jokes? A golden I don't know. A ha ha! <laughs> Uh, Jolly Junior, what? don't encourage oh, this. Hey, awesome. Did you hear that last joke? Awesome. Okay. Awesome? Hey. Hey, awesome. Are you sleeping or are you just playing possum? <laughs> oh, he's probably dreaming about my jokes. So let's move on to the Bible story. Let me grab your Bible, Pastor Dave. Hang on. All right. There you go. Where's our Bible story from today? Well, today our Bible story comes from the book of John. Boys and girls, do you know which part of the book of John it is in? Is it the Old Testament or the New Testament? Show me one for Old Testament, two for New. The book of John. All right, let's see those fingers up. If you have two, you are correct. The book of John is in the New Testament. Well, I better get going. Enjoy your Bible story, and don't worry. Next week, I'll be back with more jokes. Next week, I'll be telling you jokes about St. Patrick's Day. Okay, yeah. bye everybody! Bye, bye everybody! Hey, uh, Bernie, <coughs> yes sir? Could you take Awesome with you? Oh, okay, sure thing, I'll go get him. Come on, let's go. Oh, you're awfully hairy. <laughs> bye, friend! Bye, Bernie! Alright, well, boys and girls, what did I say? Our Bible story today comes from what book of the Bible? The book of John. All right, well, today we're going to hear about something truly amazing that Jesus did. Now, what do we call it when Jesus does something that we can't explain? It starts with an M. What do you think, Stella? A miracle. That's right. And today's miracle, boys and girls, is a huge miracle. Jesus does something that no one has ever done before. All right, here we go. So our story begins with Jesus and his disciples. Would our Jesus actor and a disciple please come out? Jesus and a disciple. Jesus and a disciple. Coming! All right, wonderful. There we go. There's our Jesus actor and his disciple. Wonderful. All right. Well, Jesus and his disciples were together in Jerusalem when Jesus received a message. <laughs> Jesus received a message. Uh, a message. Uh, ah, there we are. Wonderful. All right. Perfect. All right. The message was from Jesus' good friends, Mary and Martha. <laughs> Must have been a pretty major message. Oh. 
Not sure which Bible translation we're using this morning. All right. Well, the message from his friends Mary and Martha told Jesus that their brother Lazarus was very, very sick. Lazarus was also a very good friend of Jesus. Messenger, you may go. Uh, please, let's never see that message again. All right. Jesus told his disciples that Lazarus' illness would not cause him to die, but it would be for the glory of God. Wait a minute. How could someone's sickness bring God glory? The disciples were probably very confused. Even though Lazarus was sick, and Jesus was only a few miles from Lazarus' home, Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. Why didn't Jesus go to help and heal his sick friend? I'm sure the disciples were probably even more confused. Well, finally, two days later, Jesus and his disciples traveled to where Mary, Martha, and Lazarus lived. When they arrived, which was four days later since they first got the message, Martha came running out to Jesus. <laughs> Martha ran to Jesus and she was crying. She was very, very sad. Boys and girls, why do you think Martha... She also had allergies. Why do you think Martha was so sad? What do you think might have happened to her brother Lazarus? Caleb? He died. He died. That's right. Yes, Lazarus had died. In fact, he had been dead for four days. What? Martha told Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give it to you. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. Martha was confused, but she trusted Jesus. Jesus told Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Martha answered, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God who is coming into the world. Then Jesus met with Martha's sister, Mary. When Mary saw Jesus, she went to him, fell at his feet, and cried, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Jesus saw Mary crying, saw Martha crying, and the Bible says that Jesus too cried. Jesus wept. Can you guys say that with me? Jesus wept. That's the shortest verse in the whole Bible. John 11, verse 35. Then Jesus asked where they had put Lazarus. Mary and Martha took him to the tomb, which was like a cave where Lazarus was. Could we get our tomb out here, please? There. It's already there. All right, perfect. Jesus looked at the tomb, and he said, Move the stone. But Martha replied, Lord, you don't want to do that. Lazarus has been in there for four days. It's going to really stink. But Jesus told her, Do not... I not tell you that if you believed you would see the glory of God, move the stone. And so they moved the stone. Then Jesus lifted his eyes up to heaven and said, Father, I thank you that you always hear me. Now show everyone that you have sent me. Then Jesus called out in a loud, loud voice, Lazarus, come out! And guess what? The man who had been dead for four days came out. Jesus told the people to unbind Lazarus. Everyone was amazed. They were shocked. Lazarus had been dead for how many days? Four days. But now he was alive. Had Jesus brought him back to life? Yes. Is that pretty amazing? That is an amazing miracle. Yeah, Lazarus probably needed a bath. All right, let's give our actors a big round of applause. All right, well, 
Boys and girls, we can. Oh. Hey, everybody. Alright, here we go. Keep our hearts awake. Jesus is at work in our lives. Good night and good job. Alright, thank you, Platty. Alright, well, boys and girls, before we finish for today, we need our power verse of the day from the Bible. So, can we get our power verse of the day, please? Hello. Is anyone back there with the power verse? Ruffy Grampy. Supergirl. Jolly Junior. Oh, wonderful. Hi, Supergirl. Hi, Jolly Junior. Hello, Pastor Day. Sleepy. Um, we have a bit of a problem. Yes. My dad has the power verse. In his hands, but he's asleep. Well, can what? you just get the verse from him? Unfortunately, I tried, but it's in his hands. And when I tried to do it, I found out he has a really strong kung fu grip on it. Oh. Well, did you try to wake him up? Again, I tried, but he's really out. Hmm. Well, boys and girls, do you think you could help wake up Grumpy Grampy to get a power yeah. verse? Yeah. All right. On the count of three, we're going to yell, wake up, Grumpy Grampy. All right, ready? One, One two, two, three. Wake up! Oh, well, I guess that's not going to work. Uh, Jolly Junior, Supergirl, do you have any ideas? Yes, give me a one. Well, there is one really good one. Ooh, are you sure, Supergirl? I think it's going to be the only way. Okay, if you think it's the only way. What, what? What's the only way? What do you have Here's to do? Well, home. I apologize in Here's advance, Pastor Dave. Yeah? What? Hey, Grumpy Grampy, Pastor Dave is messing up your lawn! No! No! No, I'm not! Oh, 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 him! Hold him down! Don't let him get away! Uh, Grumpy Grampy, Grumpy Grampy, everything is fine. I wasn't on your lawn, right, boys and girls? I wasn't on the lawn. We just needed to wake you up. We need the power Are you first. sure my lawn is okay? Dad! Dad! Everything's fine. Your lawn is good. We just needed the power verse. Oh. Uh, would you share the verse with us? Yeah. Are you sure my lawn is okay? Uh, was yeah. the lawn okay? Yes. yes. Yes, it's okay. Fine. I'll share the verse. Yeah. Uh, boys and girls, who thinks that um, daylight savings time is a terrible idea? <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on up, Caleb. I love it. Uh, well, uh, Grumpy Grampy, thank you for sharing the verse of the day with us. I love it too. Grumpy Grampy. Fine, whatever. I'm going to go back to sleep. But I'm not going to get up for a, until next Sunday. Well, uh, Grumpy Grampy, I hope you have a good rest. No. Whatever, and stay off my lawn. All right, no we will. Can we say bye, Grumpy no. Grampy. Bye, Jolly Jr. Bye, bye. Super. Happy Daylight Savings Time. All right, Kayla, right. let's see here. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. John chapter 11, verse 25. Thank you, Caleb. All right. Well, boys and girls, let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and let's pray. Dear God, Dear God thank you for another kid, Tricity. Thank you for another kid, Tricity. Thank you for so many special friends. Thank you for so many special friends. And thank you even for the time change. Thank you even for the time change. Help us, God. Help us, God. To be awake in our hearts. To be awake in our hearts. And ready for Jesus. And ready for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.